Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we will be talking about parabolic dish antennas. So what do you mean by parabolic dish antennas? Well, let's find out. So parabolic dish antennas. So just like the name suggests, this is a type of antenna which has got the shape of a parabola. So first, let us understand the principle behind a parabolic dish antenna. Then once you know the principle, then rest everything will sink in. So first the principle. So whenever we take a particular reflector in the shape of a parabola. So if this is a particular reflector which is in the shape of a parabola, then if a point source is placed at this parabola's focal point, then when this point source when it emits particular radiations onto this parabolic reflector, these will emit or get reflected back as rays which are parallel to each other. This is the basic principle behind parabolic dish antennas. So the principle states that when a point source is placed at the focal point of a parabolic reflector and when this point source emits radiations onto this particular reflector, then the reflected rays will be parallel to each other. So as you guys can see, all these reflected rays are parallel to each other. This is the basic principle behind parabolic dish antennas. So now, since we know the principle behind a parabolic dish antenna, let's now construct a parabolic dish antenna. So now, we know for a fact that we need a parabolic reflector for the purpose of constructing a parabolic dish antenna. So first, let us take a parabolic reflector. So this is a parabolic reflector that we have taken in order to construct a parabolic dish antenna. Now the next thing that we have seen is that we need to place a point source on the focal length of this parabola. So if we take this as the focal length of this parabola, then we place a point source here. So this point source emits the electromagnetic radio waves that has to be transmitted with the help of this antenna that is with the help of this parabolic dish antenna so this point source is the source that produces those electromagnetic radio waves so now when these electromagnetic radio waves fall on top of this particular parabolic reflector parallel rays are obtained like this which are reflected from this parabolic reflector. So this is the basic principle behind parabolic dish antennas. So it is a type of reflector antenna because the rays get reflected off this parabolic reflector. So the point of symmetry or the symmetrical point on this particular parabolic reflector is referred to as the vertex of this particular parabola. So here, this is the point of symmetry. That is, from here on the top and the bottom, they are both symmetrical. That is, they are both identical. So therefore, this is the point of symmetry and therefore, this is the vertex of this parabolic dish antenna. So here, since this particular point transmitter is placed at the focal point of this particular parabolic reflector, this configuration is referred to as front fed. So guys, that basically is what you refer to as a parabolic dish antenna. So I've written it down. It is a type of a reflector antenna. A point source is placed at the focal point of a parabolic reflector such that the rays reflected by a parabolic reflector will emerge as parallel beams. So the symmetrical point on the parabolic surface is called the vertex of that particular parabolic dish antenna. So the rays that emerge in a parallel formation are usually said to be collimated which means that they are almost identically parallel to each other. That is they are precisely parallel and therefore the rays that emerge out will not spread whatsoever. So as the transmitter or receiver is placed at the focal point of the parabola, this configuration is called a front fed configuration. So guys, this does sums up what you mean by a parabolic dish antenna. It is very simple. I hope you guys have a clear idea of what you mean by parabolic dish antenna. So thank you for watching and we'll be discussing much more in this further topic in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.